really stood out to me is Charlie not going for the tech on that uh, first dot game three. Mm -hmm. When we saw him drop and throw Charlie below the stage of PS or of Northern Cave there, because like I was saying, I think I'm, I have to tech that or I die. And then I aired out of stage and I die, but Charlie knows better. That's that's discipline there. Uh, looks like AC did beat Syro. So on the other side of Winner's Quarters, we're going to be seeing Peach versus Snake. This is one of those matchups that you saw a lot in the beginning of Ultimate. You saw like a lot of Peach and Snake being played. These days, not too much anymore, but... Well, I feel like in general, these are two of the players you expect to be here. Like some of the other ones, you're like... You see Glug in, in quarters and you're like, oh, who'd he beat? Because I don't think he would have been seated to make top 24 winners. He obviously had to beat someone good. But then, like, you look at these two and you're like, yeah, these guys didn't get upset on the way here. Absolutely. They, I expected they, they you here. Business. I've been expecting you. Exactly. It, this is, like, what you expect out of a winner's course at MSM. I do like how Raza is playing right now. He's just kind of saying, if you're going to camp me, I can camp you back. These terms will clank. And it looks like he's been winning this so far. He's not trying to go in and fight him. And as I say that, immediately back ears into a grenade. But, you know, it happens. See, look what happens when Peach finally decides to go in. He takes the same amount of percent that Snake does. This is going to be the part where it's going to be hard for AC to recover. Raza's really good at covering landings. It's so hard to catch Snake's landing, though, when he's dropping the Nikita missile on you. The C4 is already on the ground. Mm hmm. But luckily, AC is one of those players who's really good at mixing up his landings. He, if you're going to catch it, it's not going to be by, like, coincidence or anything. You have to have a hard read and know how he's going to land. Okay, like just that. like that. Fortunately, not getting the sweet spot. I think that would have killed if it was. Or throw, I don't think he's going to kill just yet. But not going to be able to survive too many more of those. I'm actually curious if Razo has the option to go off and actually aim out a Cypher with something that's not fair, like a Nair or a back air. Nair will definitely do it. I think only, like, the sweet spot of back air will, though. That the sweet spot of, like, back air and Nair. Oh, there's a the stitch, but... Raz look for it, bro. He wants his free 70%. Oh, there we go. What are you landing in front of me for? But the grenade actually That darn grenade. <laughs> Only 50. What what a waste of a stitch from Raza, right? Only 50% dot. And in the, he's pulled two dot eyes in a stitch, and it's in a minute. Uh, there, no, Raza's, like, turn at pull is kind of crazy. Uh, we had an IE tournament a couple weeks ago. He did the math after and had an average of one and a half stitches per game. Per game? Per game. Throughout the night, like, all of the games oh, he's he played. Dead. Oh, good tech. Oh, up B? No! Up throw, maybe? Oh, back throw. Yeah, Raza didn't actually have to nair him there. He didn't notice, but AC air dodged off stage, and he wasn't going to make that back. But if you don't notice that, then I understand going for that nair. I'm surprised it wasn't untackable. Stitch face. What is that? Oh, my God. And he catches it again. Man's a juggler. Poking the shield with the peach bomb. That was a shield break setup. Rouses lab that one. That's so hard to see. Like, mm. did you see the Nikita missile? I heard it. I, I yeah, I it. heard it. That's one of those things that you have to keep track of so much for Snake. Great D on the dash attack. He's got a Saturn now. He's got two dot eyes, two stitches, a Saturn, and he's on his second stock of game one. This guy's got some good vibes or something, bro. He needs to enter the lottery. What's wild here is just both, you know both players are scared about dying there because, again, Peach can die at, like, 100%. AC at 200%. Great call out there. See, now we're even up 10%, but that's nothing to a peach. I do like that AC is just retreating with these grenades, making it impossible for Razzle to just go in freely. He's just dancing around him instead of trying to fight him. All right, tries to get that down air out of shield. Just missing. Gets that up air. Yep, getting on the reading rainbow. I do like the upbeat attempt. It wouldn't have killed, but... Did you see him ledge cancel it? I did, yeah. This guy's crazy. Man, every time I think I'm like, okay, I, I know what Razo's going to do. He does something extra that I'm just... Bro, he's always... He doesn't a, have to do it, man. He's always in the lab like every week like, I got some new stuff. Y'all ain't ready for this. Leads the roll in with the back air. Yep, forgot that was... I forgot that was there, too. Yeah, I feel like that's been Razo's biggest downfall is he's not respecting and remembering where the C4 is as well as he should oh, be. Oh, huge fair here. This should be death. Yeah. That's it. That sits at such a nasty angle. He wasn't too far up or too far down, so he just kind of rose at that awkward angle where Peach can absolutely go out there and do something about that. 
And even if he air dodges there, he has to air dodge like down and into the stage. Razo can react to that, nair him out of his air dodge, and then, you know, yeah. possibly still kill him or get the punish. That fair was perfectly placed. Still not a bad game for AC. D definitely at the end of that stock, he was just getting caught a little too much. He's caught rolling, and Raz was just standing there prepared for it. Caught his landings a lot, and unfortunately, it was just too much for him. I do see that they said they were going to run it back, so. And I do agree with that. This game, that game was incredibly close. That could have gone either way, but it was just who got into disadvantage first, and it happened to be AC. Wait, did that one turn up just do 19? It was a dot eye. I don't the uh, second strongest turn up, I believe. Yeah, it is. Why, where is your shield, sir? 50% unanswered. I right, catch him with that up tilt. Oh, we're boxing now. Raza's not giving you that one. I do like that AC does go for these F smashes a lot. He's really comfortable with the move in general. And his hit percentage on F smash is actually pretty, it's pretty yeah, up there. I, I don't... There's no one doing it like him when it comes to two framing with those forward smashes. Right. Like, he's the only person I'm seeing do it to, like, Lucina consistently. Like, when he did it at the tie ranks last week, that was insane. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of especially is, like, I don't, I can't react to that move, let alone time a snake forward smash that has delay to it. Uh, I do like that AC did that air dodge instead of trying to attack there. He knew if he was going to attack, he was going to lose. There's Nikita coming out. Doesn't matter. I got something for that. I can't tell if that was Nair or back air. I think there. it was... Okay. All right, this is a classic AC setup. He does put that that uh, C4 there and starts doing the up smashes. It gives you a lot to try to take hold of. If yep. you try to neutral get up, you're just going to get exploded. But honestly, what impeccable like movement there from Razo at the ledge. That's death. That's good. I don't play it. You shake my hand. <laughs> Bro, I don't know if you saw. Razo like, started mass for a second. He saw that one second. hands off the controller. Yeah. All right. This is my time to stretch my peach hands. <laughs> Oh, 50% is not going to be scoffed at, especially with the Raza is playing. He's playing outside of this range where these grenades are. Oh, goes to that, goes that dash grab. Not a bad idea, but AC just barely spot dodging in time. That was a, that was a really fast throw. I love that Raza just started throwing them back now. Take it back. I don't, I don't want it. Still, it does not look like that throw it back at him method is working out for him. He's Honestly, taking so much percent just from trying to throw these grenades back and... Body blocking the peach bomb with the grenade. So, I do like that Raza is going back to that method of turtling. Stay away from me. Oh, gets caught out with that upper. That upper would be so good at calling out people just floating in the air. And it kills deceptively early. I like that just forces out the timer on Razo's float there, makes him go back down, figure something else out. No way, no way he meant that. Still, this is looking really good for AC. Ever since Razo did try to like start throwing the grenades back, you know, taking a lot of unnecessary percent. Now this is AC's game. Okay, but that backer, no, it's not, not gonna not. take the stock. Yeah, yeah, but that air rule. That's what I was looking for in that game one wide buy up. Especially if you like, if you recover low or to that mid center, the Raza is just going to be there every time. This is going to be really difficult. At some point, Raza is going to start to have to approach. And every time he has tried to approach and these grenades are out, it just seems like he's always hitting him right as the grenades come in. So he's taking that percentage for getting that back here. And at this point, he doesn't really have the percentage to be trading anymore. But this could be something. He was able to do that down air into the falling up air before the grenade came out. Oh, that's so scary oh, for AC. It's not dead? No, we got good DI out here. <laughs> you saw him just walking back and forth, intimidating Razo into rolling? I definitely thought Razo wasn't going to give up the roll, but he just did it last second. Second breath of air after living that up tilt, but you know another one is not. You're not oh, living not that. Not in the cards. So at this point, Razo is just trying to figure out his option. He has to get in while yep, dancing around you. this. He has to dance around the the C4, which somehow didn't hit him. Well, that had to be because of the float. Oh, here we go, 40%. Now Snake's in disadvantage. Smack him. I, lo I love Peach's jab. No, don't touch my purse. 
But at this point, okay. Again, every time oh, he gets back, naked though. disadvantage, this is the time we could be holding it back. Is he going to let the FB rip? I felt it. I felt it coming out. Goes to the ground just a little too early there. See, now this is this is looking good for Raza. Once you get snake in that disadvantage state, Ming should be... Wait. Oh, no! I... I don't... I don't think he wanted to do that. I feel like he wanted to, like, C4, and then he just kind of... No, he, 